You're listening to From Our Lens, a podcast for photographers and brides where we dive into all things weddings. Whether you're a pro behind the lens or bride to be, we've got you covered. Join in on the conversation and take it from the gals who have been to a wedding or two. Grab your camera or your wedding planner and tune in for our hot wedding takes. Let's focus on your forever. Welcome. Welcome back. I am interviewing Sarah today. We're just going to get straight into it. I'm just going to start asking you some yeah. questions and so everybody can know who you are. All, yeah, the, good, all the good stuff. Do it. Very excited. I just want you to tell everybody who you are and then I'm going to get into the into the nitty gritty. I'm Sarah. I'm a photographer. And yeah, I have been a photographer pretty much for the same amount of time as Jordan. <laughs> I started as a young child. I a was, young child. <laughs> literally, <laughs> a young so, child. How young are we talking? A little baby. I <laughs> I actually kind of started with video. Yeah, you did. Which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I, had, I got a little iPod Nano for Christmas. It had, for some reason, they had video cameras on it. So I would do <laughs> little music videos and... I just was obsessed with doing making videos. Yeah. I would make my friends and my little brother act in movies. And I don't know. We have the funniest little videos. And then from there, I kind of, my mom was always had cameras. So I, I think I was in middle school and I would take her cameras. She'd let me and take my friends out to the park behind her house and like do little photo shoots. Yeah. And I didn't stop doing that until like, all the way through high school and high school, I there was no photography program at our school. So I joined Com Media and it was video and I was in love with video. I thought I was going to go for, to school for it. But yeah, I fell in love. And then from there, I just – I was I started doing little jobs in high school yeah. and had a little business that was an unofficial little <laughs> business. And yeah, in my grad year, I started doing grad photos and then went to Nate. And that's kind of the beginning that's of the beginning. how I started. I love that for you. Yeah. I feel like we all started that same way. I know. Like we all just started like slowly taking pictures of friends yeah. and family. Every photographer's story is like, oh, my mom or dad had a camera and then literally. I took it and blah, blah, blah. But literally. That's, oh, that's I how love, it went. Yeah. Love. How was Nate for you? I mean, yeah. I know how it was for you because I was there, but yeah. no one else does. So. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. I, I really, I was such a shy person growing up, like literally couldn't talk to anyone which is like i don't i didn't know you before yeah, and it's so shocking to me no it's crazy i was like as a kid i would cry every day my mom would take me to school and like just the shyest <laughs> little thing and then nate really really pushed me out of my comfort zone because we had to get different models for everything yeah and they really forced you yeah so, like, which is good that's that's great that's kind of what we, yeah. why we went into it but <laughs> especially as like a portrait and wedding photographer you have to be outgoing and you have to put yourself out there and not be afraid to talk to people. And I was all those things. <laughs> and now yeah. I don't have that because I was kind of like, it made me, and even just shooting weddings, I think kind of got me out of my comfort zone. But yeah, Nate was amazing and it was tough, but like the good amount of tough because it really prepared us for yeah. what's it, what it's like being a photographer. It but like got us in the right mindset. I feel yes. like. like we were just like fully invested in photography for two years. Yeah. Like we were, that was just, in, uh, we were in the zone. Yeah. We had our cameras every single day. We shot every single day. Yeah. But yeah, applying was scary. I didn't know if I was going to get in because they really stressed like how hard of a program yeah, it was. I know. Yeah. So when I got in, I was like, sweet. Cause I didn't have a backup plan. But my plan was like, I'm going to be a photographer. I didn't think of anything <laughs> else for a little bit when I was younger. I was like, maybe I'll be a teacher. Cause my mom was a teacher. And then, yeah, in high school, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Nate. I'm going to do photography. And that was my plan. I had nothing else. Love. So, Love. yeah, it was good. I love Nate. Yeah. So so your business, like, did it start during Nate? Or yeah. did you kind of wait till you were done? Well, the first, like, I started doing grad photos when I was in grade 12 and I was graduating. And then after our first year at Nate, that summer, I did, like, I think I did, like, 30 different kids' grad photos. Like, yeah. it was insane. Yeah. And I worked for... um like the local um, baseball t like yeah, league in our that town. Era of you. <laughs> it was so good because it like I was able to come home that summer and not have to get a different job. I was able to work as a yeah. photographer. It was all trader cards and you know it was fun, but it was it was a lot. It was good. Yeah. I was glad I was able to do that. And I didn't do any weddings that summer, but then after we graduated from Nate, I think I had four weddings that summer too. And it was like 
I remember booking them and I was like, wow, like I'm actually booking these and then doing it. I don't even remember being really nervous. No. And I think it's because of our program. Yeah. I think it kind of prepared and us. And out. yeah. And yeah, Jordan was my second shooter when I did my first <laughs> wedding because I was like, I need her as my <laughs> security blanket. So her and I went to Saskatoon and did our wedding and it, it was, was good. so good. No, I don't think that anything like it went out with like it went without a hitch. Yeah. Like it was a pretty perfect day. And that summer was fun. Like the weddings were good. And then the next year, I think I had four or so Just weddings. And then from there, it like really yeah. took off. But yeah. 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 No, that's awesome. So um, I want to talk about your style because I think it has changed as yes. much as like as much as like it doesn't seem like it has like you haven't done mm-hmm. like a big rebrand or anything yeah. but your your style's definitely changed totally so talk about that and like what has it just been like a gradual change or was there something that hit you and just decided that like helped yeah. you decide i think like if you looked at my work from 2017 to now you'd be like okay that's like a drastic yeah, change yeah and it doesn't feel like you but yeah. if you look at my grid it's very much like slowly evolved to what it is now and before it was like very processed like no greens yeah muddy grainy like that was the style that was the style and super contrasty yeah it's not like you were it wasn't bad and then i've kind of like gone into different trends and right now i feel like my style is more true to life and I don't know if I would say like before it was more like portraity, very posed, Mm -hmm. very like edited. And now I'm trying to make it more editorial slash documentary. Yeah. I really like that editorial look with some documentary. So letting things happen, but like posing in a way that feels like a magazine, like it's like Mm -hmm. natural posing. I don't know if that's a good explanation, but Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It is for sure. So when we talk about like, what type of photographer you are. Yeah. Um, like, what do you like to do? Like, what is your, what is your, like, love language? My, my jam. Yeah, what's your jam? <laughs> what's your love, love language and photography in terms of sessions, I guess? Definitely weddings yeah. and couples and engagements, that kind of stuff. But I also really like doing young families. Those kind of sessions are just so, like, I feel like you can do them in such an artistic way. Yeah. And I just, it's a beautiful stage of life. And I, I'll do, like, the extended family sessions too. And, I see the importance in those because those are like, you know, the big family photos is what goes, you know, it's documenting your entire family. And yeah, yeah, so that's definitely, I started out with like really heavy in grads. I think we both did Mm -hmm. because we were at, we started at the age where all the people we knew were graduating. Yeah, we were kind of lucky. Yes. But now we're at the age where everyone's getting married. Everyone's getting married. So we really started at a good time. I feel like it's just working out great for us. Totally. (laughs) And I don't know. I just – there's something about a wedding day I love. I love, like, the rush of it and having to, like, work on your toes. And, like, I kind of like the stress of it. (laughs) Like, I know. The big – I love the big weddings. I love the small weddings. But I'm kind of leaning more towards the local – weddings i love traveling too Mm -hmm. but i just i'm a homebody now and i go back and forth between here and Kelowna, like the okanagan area and like those are my places i really love and it's it's always good to do like one destination-ish wedding a month but i don't know it's nice to be home and i feel like there's less pressure on the wedding day and yeah yeah but yeah definitely couples and weddings same as me you just love people. yeah i love people and yeah anything to do with that i could never be like a like a still photographer and take photos Listen, of things. I just and... give mad props to like anybody that yes. can do that and do it good. Yeah. Because like I can't. Because it's like, <laughs> listen, you all, you have to know what you can't yeah. do. And it's just something that like I do a decent job, but like there are some people way oh, better. Yeah. And I'm just like, go for In it. School, I just like, I struggled with that because your subjects have no emotion. Like they're like, yeah, lifeless, it's obviously. Hard. It's yeah, so hard. Pretty much impossible to to yeah i don't know i like emotion and i like like my favorite I like part playing off people yeah like you play off them and reading the room and just like emotion i love a good like dad crying at the first look oh, <laughs> don't get me i'm gonna cry again thinking about the video you showed me earlier oh, it's my favorite i don't yeah. know weddings it's just and it's we're lucky because it's such a special day that we get to be a part of and we're like 
we're in it. We're there. We get to see everything. We get to hear the private vows. We get to see. I forget how yeah. much of a wedding day that we see that so many people out don't see. Yeah. Because it's just so normal. Yeah. And that's why our jobs are so important because we have to document it as real as it is because not everyone gets to see it. And the person in the wedding doesn't even get to see it. Like we a have to show it, yeah. everything and like the emotion and the crazy and that's the, the fun part about it. Yeah. Love. It's such a cool. I think we're lucky. We don't really realize how lucky we are to do this job. No, I agree with you. Yeah. And then you sit there and you're like, oh, wow. I know. Look at us. <laughs> and we kind of get like, I don't know what the word is, like not immune, but like. No, you just forget that. You do. You forget how special it is. And you have to remind yourself like this is this person, like a lot of like the biggest days of their life. And we get to be there and see it every weekend. <laughs> like, I love it. Yeah. Love that's that. such a big deal. Yeah. And it's hard to not, you know, you need to not take it for granted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what is on the horizon? Like if you – what's going on oh. in your biz that's that's kind of up and up and – on the up and up? Yeah. So I would say the biggest thing right now is incorporating more videography into my wedding packages, mm -hmm. which is something that I have loved adding. And I think mm -hmm. I probably – I started adding this maybe three years ago. And yeah. it's really fun because sometimes when you have two photographers, two or three videographers, it's just like a lot of people. And I think the couple, you know, you could get overwhelmed. But when you can do hybrid coverage, mm -hmm. photography and video on mm -hmm. the same, mm -hmm. like you have two shooters or three. And I just find it so much more chill. And it's really fun incorporating video because it's just another yeah, it's element. Kind of going back to your roots too. Because yeah. That's where you started. And I still love video so much. Yeah. And it's just such a different way to tell the story. And I like being able to do both. Yeah. So I think adding video is a big thing and just really like focusing on my brand and the type of work I like to do. And I'm, I'm not doing like the big rebrand like you are, but kind of figuring out like my niche and my style yeah. and I, i'm always figuring out my style <laughs> it's like photographers always have some always identity are. crisis of every year their style every year <laughs> every like at the end of busy season they're like yeah. oh i hate my editing yeah you it's, get so done with relatable. it <laughs> but yeah i think just like really honing in on that i really love it and that way maybe i can take a little bit less weddings because mm -hmm. sometimes your summer is just so jam-packed and yeah. if you can do hybrid then yeah. you can because you have more work on the end of it not you know so not burning out as much 100%, with that. that's very important yeah Love but that that's kind you. of my dream and i don't know yeah just really loving what i'm doing yeah that's yeah. important yeah oh, amazing so good well i hope that kind of gave a little description of me did. yeah beautiful amazing i know so much more about you Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so good but yeah Love. we'll be back again next week with another fun little and then some sustenance not like not saying you guys don't want to listen to us talk yes about ourselves, of but, course <laughs> but we'll have some content yeah we'll have some fun <laughs> hot takes and just like different things that are going on in 2024 i'm really excited to chat about some trends that are coming yes. and some changes like there's a lot of and just like just in general things to think about yes for your wedding yeah just I, just that yeah like just the things that like you maybe didn't know you need help with like, exactly okay, we're ready yeah we got all the tips and tricks yeah. <laughs> awesome cool. see right. you next week good night bye, bye.